coming up on Little Women Dallas. Tiffany just sent me a text about this party for Austin. You remember uh, Austin coming in last night? A little too well. You know, she's not liking the fact he's here. and I don't understand why you guys are already having issues. It's not the fun Tiffany anymore. You had a good time with Kaylee. Up on a speaker box in front of everybody. That's like a stage. That's a stage, shut up. I thought you were done dancing. You're wrong. You been arrested? Yeah. For what? Bull Bull What's oh bull They thought I was beating the out of her, so they called the sheriff's department. So where were you when you when she moved out here? So why does, the does that matter? How would you feel? You put yourself How in the How would you feel? You can hate all you want. I don't really care. All of you hate. I don't give a don't me All right, listen, shut the f up. Come on. Yeah, get your ass out. It's time to go. Bye, man. You make me feel so You leave a quarter till What are you whipping up in here? Some breakfast. Do you want some help? Oh, I'll do this. It's okay. Go sit down. All right. I'm so excited Austin decided to surprise me with a visit from Ohio. I'm making bacon, right? I put the butter. Just a little bit. Not a bunch. I think we'll be good. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, let me just get this off my chest. Do you think Kaylee was, like, just drunk last night? Do you think she's, like, really mad that you're here? I don't necessarily think she's mad at you that I'm here. I, I just think she's leaning towards the jealous side a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I just don't want to be mad. I just want her to like understand that if the shoe is on the other foot and you know she left me, I, I wouldn't. 100%, 100% she would expect you not to be mad. It would be really crazy if Kaylee's actually upset with me for leaving just a little bit early last night. It's been over four months since I've seen Austin. I mean, how could she blame me for wanting to spend alone time with him? So I was thinking, how would you feel if I threw a little Texas barbecue and invited everybody to get to know you a little bit better than what they seen last night? No, I think that's a really good idea. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think it'd be good. fun. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Ugh, my head is killing me. This is gonna make you feel so much better. You better be right, because I can barely see you right now. We'll get hydrated. Ugh. Hey. Don't worry, you guys, we're coming. Stomach. Last night was my 21st birthday, and of course, things got a little crazy, and my head is paying for it this morning. Our health nut friend Amanda was smart enough to book us an appointment at an IV bar. I'm hoping they can bring me back to life. Good morning, welcome to Hydro Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi, how y'all doing? What can I do for y'all today? We had a 21st birthday bash last night, so we need to cure hangovers. Oh, wow, y'all partied hard, huh? Mm-hmm. As a trainer and bodybuilder, I definitely know the importance of hydration. All right, have right. a seat. Especially after a long night of partying. Ugh. How are her legs supposed to get massaged? I can get a foot massage. That's what I can get. Good morning, ladies. Morning. Good morning. Start right here with Miss Kaylee. I got a small arm. That might be too big. I always got used to little kid arms. Yeah, let me change oh, cuffs real quick. I got little kid arms. I hate needles. I can get tattoos all day, but getting a needle in my arm, mm. It'll be worth it. You will feel 100% better afterwards. I may have to rethink this whole being able to drink thing if it makes me feel this bad. And I have to get stabbed by a needle just to make it through the next day. Don't be nervous. <laughs> you can do it. It's gonna be a small insertion. You're gonna feel a way lot better than you do right now. A little small stick. You'll be fine. IV is complete. 
she's going to hook it up. <laughs> so that. And Chris is going to come behind and get your nice little cocktail started. Oh, yeah. don't say cocktail. <laughs> Do you remember getting home last night? I don't remember a lot. Yeah. Tiffany just sent me a text about this party for Austin. I guess she wants to have us all over to celebrate him coming. You remember uh, Austin coming in last night? A little too well. Turning 21 is a big milestone, and I was really looking forward to celebrating with all my friends. It just sucks that Tiffany left the way that she did. I'm taking her home. What the f All of a sudden, she's like up in the air with some dude, and then I realize it's Austin. I was all like, oh, it's so cute. And then. Yeah, yeah. we were all happy. I was like, hey, what's up, Austin? And, and then, then like, they just left. Two seconds later, I they're walking out. It's my 21st birthday, and you're gonna just get up and leave? They didn't say bye to me at all. They were just like, I don't know, they just left. I know I may have overreacted last night by getting mad at Tiffany for leaving, but I was really hurt. You guys feeling pretty good? I feel awesome. I feel so much better. How your hangover's gone? I feel like I, I haven't even drank. Am I supposed to feel this happy? Yes. I got some, like, extra good juice. Doctor, give me some what she got. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice water. I know. I don't like the outdoors. Ty has been a bartender for over a decade, and he has always wanted to open up his own bar. So today, we're meeting up with the realtor to get some information. Ooh, pretty cool. Wow. Hey, guys. Thanks. How are y'all? Good. good. How are you? I'm Mia. Asta. Asta? Yeah. Nice I'm to Mia. meet you. Ty. Ty. Hi, I'm Amanda. Amanda, nice, nice to, to meet, meet y'all. So who's looking at opening up a bar? We are. Uh, we are. Y'all two yep. yeah. are? OK, Absolutely. and you're here for moral support? Basically. Yeah. Along for the ride. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, this is it. It's 3,500 square feet on the inside, and then there's a 2,500 square foot patio. Y'all are lucky because the lease just ended. So you could lease for five years, and this is running around 10,000 a month. So you're locked in for five years yes. at 10,000 a month. Yes. Let's see how the, how the kitchen looks. I want to see what kind of food we can operate with yeah, just with the kitchen, on, how much yeah. redo yes. we'd have Take to do. Take a look do. at that. Cool. Honestly, I don't want to be working at a bar in five years. My real passion is art, and I want to be making money from my art by then. But it's tough, because I also want to be supportive of Ty. I don't think we can afford this. <laughs> well, when you're opening a bar, you don't have time to work. So you take out a loan, and then you open a bar. Or find <laughs> investors. But it's just so damn expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive, and I don't know how to talk to Ty about it. Because this is not going to, like, we can't afford this at all. I don't know. Because it's soft, and that's what the horses like to walk on. This is what your mommy used to do right here. After spending the last three months in the hospital with my son, JJ, I haven't had a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Ava. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you guys? Good. Good. I'd love to get Ava into riding. Plus, it's something the two of us can do together. You excited? Yeah. He's really nice. I used yeah. to ride him. Yeah, he's really sweet. Your mom used to ride him at, like, big rodeos and people would cheer for her, and she would ride him, and they would win. One? She beat me one time on him. <laughs> she won a lot. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you can. All right, she's going to teach you how to brush him and stuff, and Brandon and I are going to go talk, OK? Just so. make sure you listen. Don't go around his butt. That's your butt? Oh, my goodness. He thinks we already have a treat. <laughs> I had fun at the rodeo. Yeah, it was fun. But you had a good time with Kaylee. Dancing up on the speaker box. I had a good time with Kaylee. <laughs> yeah, when y'all dance around the speaking box. You were on the other speaker boxes. I know, but I wasn't even up there yet, and y'all were already up there. Okay, is that not what we do? Well, in the past, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't necessarily I was having a good time with Kaylee. I jumped on the speaker box, and she wanted to join me because I was having a good time. But I thought you were done dancing. 
I wasn't dancing like that. I was having a good time. No one was paying me. I did it because I want to. But I thought you were done. You told me you're done dancing. So I'm not allowed to move and have um, physical activity when I go out into a location that has music. Excuse me? I don't know why Emily has to be so defensive. I'm not allowed to dance since I said I wasn't dancing. Well, last dancing. time you told me, you're like, I'm not dancing anymore and everything, but then you and Katie not were the dancing. first one no, that to be correct. up on the I'm not dancing box. like that, but when I go to a place where they play music, I'm not gonna be like this. But if I'm at a bar, I'm obviously gonna move my body. If you don't move your body and you listen to music, there's something wrong with you. Up on a speaker box in front of everybody. That's like a stage. That's like our thing. That's not a stage, shut up. It was in front of everybody on a stage. That's what we did before Left Cheek and Right Cheek. Brie was the one trying to convince me to go out in the first place and have a good time. So her freaking out about me dancing with Kaylee is ridiculous. I'm not dancing for money or doing gigs anymore. I'm just trying to have a good time. So it was something I did before and now I did it after Left Cheek and Right Cheek. But my name was Emily, there it wasn't right cheek. Kaylee, are you gonna help me? In a minute. Okay, but I need your help. Okay. Okay, this is help our you house. In You're still having company, so you need to help me, please. I'm super excited for everyone to come over and spend time with Austin and see what an amazing guy he is. Hopefully, this party will snap Kaylee out of her bad mood. Hey, I'm gonna need two more of those, babe. Well, thank you. You're welcome. At least I we mean, know who's not lazy. Austin's only been here for three days, but really, it feels like three months. He's so bossy, and he's making me feel like a third wheel in my own house. Kaylee, come on. What? Like, I don't want to argue with you, but I need your help. Let's make the best out of it, what we can. OK, I'm coming. OK, I'm coming. thank you. Now that Austin's in town, it's causing tension with Kaylee, and it sucks. But I'm just going to put on my happy face and enjoy the party. OK, I got these. Yeah. Yeah, what, right there? And then you got this. Boom. Look at that. It looks fancy. We fancy, huh? Welcome. Thank you. You're all fancy. I know, I got a little too fancy. How you Hi. doing? Hi. You remember Austin. How are you? Pretty good, how are you? <laughs> good. <laughs> well, do you want to help me with some food? Sure. Um, what are we eating? Well, we got some beans. Sausage, chicken. Knock, 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 knock. the door. What up? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Sick of thing. Hey, you want to help me with the okay. drinks? Yeah, definitely. We got a glass of vodka. Oh gosh. It's like four handles. <laughs> All right. We each get a handle? Do you have a fork or something? Yeah, grab that if you don't mind, Emily. Got you. So, how's it going with Austin living here? He doesn't live here. He acts like he lives here. He acts like he can tell me what to do because he's Tiffany's boyfriend. He literally will boss me around. Like he lives here. How's it been? Good. Good. Right? Hectic with three people in the house, but. Especially when one of them doesn't want to help all the time, but... <laughs> wow. We're bumping heads because, you know, she's not liking the fact he's here. And... I mean, he just got here, though. Like, I don't understand why you guys are already having issues. It's only been a couple days. I like... know. Tiffany's, like, was once so cool, and now that her boyfriend's here... She's acting different. She's, yeah, she's acting different. She's not the fun Tiffany anymore. Kaylee's your friend, but she's not your future. Yeah. Like, there is a, like... Borderline on Yeah. That. Yeah. I can't decide if I feel like I'm in high school or if I feel like their mom. Either way, Tiffany and Kaylee need to figure out this drama on their own. Hey, hey everybody! What up, What's Michelle? Up? How are you? Hi, I'm Hi. good. Hey. Hi, this is my boyfriend, Austin. Hey. Kaylee, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Michelle. I invited my friend Rochelle to the party. She's like my big sister. She's my first little person friend that I made here in Texas. I babysat for her kids, and basically she's been babysitting me ever since. And there you are. Look at this preparation. I know. Yeah. So did you cook this? Yeah. yeah. Spent all day doing it. It's you, Austin, huh? You damn right. <laughs> nice, man. Bringing that barbecue. Ooh, mm -hmm. That smells good. 
I like your guys' okay. like farm enthused uh, plates. <laughs> Very Texan. Yep. And the flag. Are you guarding the barbecue sauce? A little bit. Yeah, vast assortment here. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> I feel like that works. Ting, ting, ting. Um, well, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you guys for coming. And uh, I'm glad I get the chance to meet Most all of you. Most people raise their glasses. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad I get to meet all of you, not in a nightclub and not when all of you are drunk. That was a little rude to say. Just because we are all having a good time doesn't mean we're all wasted. And how would he even know? He didn't even stay. That but, one you uh, ruined someone's birthday party? Move it on. Okay. Mm. You're fine. Not gonna argue with it? Yeah. Ooh. Just let her be here. Well, hey, let's have a good meal. Cheers. Cheers. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. Sorry I missed your birthday. Yeah, but it's okay. Wait. We'll have to do a part two. With Austin around, I lost my main sidekick, Tiffany. So I'm glad my friend Rochelle decided to be my dinner date for the barbecue. I have a fun activity that I planned for everybody. My brother is coming to town. Kaylee's boyfriend. <coughs> the f up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and I wanted to plan something fun, so. We're going to the lake, getting on a boat, and barbecuing at the lake house. That sounds like an awesome time. I'm excited. Me too. Me too. It's gonna be sweet. Yeah. Everyone's gonna have a good time. Yeah, yes. definitely. Kaylee and my brother have known each other since they were younger, and recently they have been texting a lot. I don't really know what's going on, but we'll see. So what's up with you two? So are you guys living together? Are you here to well, stay? I'm visiting right now. Okay. But uh you know, I haven't made my mind up on if I, you know, want to for sure move here and live with her or not. But what are you gonna do? All three of y'all living under the same roof? What you gonna do? Probably it's like getting a third wheel. What you? I ain't no third wheel, but you have a guy yet? No. Why not? I want to live it up. I don't want to be tied down. Girl, listen, it's too I'm not much tied stuff. There's too much stuff. Have I have a man to come home. Right. She can still live it up man. and not be tied down. Coming from the one who took her away from her birthday party. That? Oh. I'm gonna get you a boy toy. Don't you worry about it. Don't I'll worry. be looking forward to it. So why are you hooking that body up? Hey, you, 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 come, you come to where I'm from? What they got to do with anything? Ask they both are. of them. What they got to do with anything? <laughs> Ask both of them. Oh, it's a bunch of hoes <laughs> over there. Wuda definitely has a lot of friends he could hook Kaylee up with, but I wouldn't recommend any of them. These aren't relationship type fellows. She needs to be careful. Uh-uh. Well, we're going to see if you're going to be saying, mm-mm, real soon. We're going to uh-uh to the clinic and get tested. How you doing? Hey, hey. Uh, how you doing? Take them on your own. Let me see your paperwork, boo. Let me see your paperwork, honey. Hey, I'm having uh -huh. the paperwork myself. Let me see your paperwork. Every time Rochelle shows up somewhere, things usually get loud. Luckily, I have a game that will help the group get to know Austin a whole lot better. <laughs> All right. What are we playing? We're yeah. gonna give you, we're gonna play Never Have I Ever. I'm gonna give you two. All right. Oh. With a pen. And you're gonna write, you know, Never Have I Ever, whatever you wanna write. You're gonna okay. write two things. And the goal is to write something that you haven't done, but you think everybody else has. Or yes. as many people as you know. Yes. And then you're gonna put them in the thing, and then we're just gonna read them out. Never Have I Ever is a bad idea. Every time I've played in the past, I find out way too much about people. Never have I ever had plastic surgery. Who cool, had plastic surgery? I did. These things are not real. Just her boobs. I want an ass. Never ever been in a relationship with average white guy. Is that supposed to be a bad thing? Why is average? That's racist. Never have I ever had a threesome. So if you have, you drink? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have, you drink? <laughs> oh, we got three oh. of them. All right. Well, I'm glad they both drank. Y'all are tight. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. Never have I ever crashed into another car. Never have I ever skinny dipped. <laughs> Here's the being naked. Never have I ever given birth. <laughs> Never have I ever had sex in a movie theater. Oh, no. I'm pretty safe on Y'all a bunch of hoes. That is set. How does that, how does that even work out? Damn! You're this big. Is that really a question? Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, all right. I see where you're coming from. Okay, yeah. You're 19, bro. You haven't had, you haven't did nothing in the movie theater. Not sex. All right, I feel like a lot of y'all should probably get out and do some more adventuring. You know. I mean, it's kind of dirty, but I wouldn't mind giving it a try. Never have I ever been arrested. So you were arrested. What were you arrested for? DUI. Ooh. Do we? I passed my field sobriety in my cowboy boots. Was it at the rodeo the other night? No. And that no. was three years ago. ago. You've been arrested? Yeah. For what? Bull. Bull. So do I need to hide my purse around you? <laughs> hey, wait. I don't wait, steal. Oh, no. What? No. Assault? No. 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 It wasn't assault. It was, it was bull. It with his own. Yeah, my, my family decided to call to the cops. Call Domestic home. stuff? Yep. What happened? I woke up in the morning, my sisters were going to steal my car. And uh, you know how, I don't, do you have siblings? Yeah. You fight crazy, you scream at each other face to face. Well, they thought I was beating the shit out of her, so they called the sheriff's department. Your mom thought you were. Yeah. I can see the look on everybody's faces, but it's a total misunderstanding. If anybody knows Austin, it's me. And I know for a fact he would never hurt anybody. His mom overreacted. End of story. Before the sun goes down, yeah, I'm gonna be in a margarita town. Yeah, I'm gonna buy everybody around. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Sprinkle. Hi. How are you? Oh, today? look, Meek, there's mini hey, ones you for you. Which one you want? Can I have a snickerdoodle cookie? Mm hmm Wood and I aren't married, and we haven't defined what we are. But we are Meek's parents, and we're damn good at it. So if I'm going to have another baby, I want it to be with Wooda. And I want that. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Robert, we have your order ready. All right. Do you want your cupcake, Meek? Hmm. There you go. Take it easy, bro. Why did you tell him your name is Robert? Because I didn't want to tell him my first name. Then he was like, well, how you spell it or be looking funny. <laughs> well, I have something to talk to you about. What? <laughs> well, you know, makes three, right? Mm-hmm. Can't wait for him next year so he'd be going to school. So you know what that means, right? What? It's time for another baby. You want another baby? Yeah. I don't need no kids right now. Well, we're gonna start planning for it. I'm not planning nothing. And I don't need no extra bills. And that's gonna that's be it. That's why you grind harder for your own kid. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna kick it in overdrive right now. What about, what about you? Just gonna stop everything for a kid right now? I ain't, you know, we done did that before with him. I, I know, and it. we are fine. No, I okay. bounced back. That was then, I'm getting old. So you try to bring me here and butter me up with cupcakes and then just try to butter, just throw a baby on me? Oh, no. Yeah. I really want a baby. And it's disappointing that Wuda doesn't feel the same right now. I know I have to be patient and wait for the right time, but I'm confident that our family's gonna grow. So you never wanna have kids? No, I wanna have another kid, just not right now. I just have to butter you up and then... <laughs> <laughs> butter me up ain't gonna get me there. Yeah. Cause you didn't butter me for him. <laughs> no, I didn't. That was your fault. Mm -hmm. But see, now that he's here and he's the best kid ever. Meek, you want a baby brother or sister? No. See what I'm saying? <laughs> My boy. <laughs> give me some pound on that job. Oh. My boy's no best. Sorry, I'll get Meek on my side. Then he has to give in. Nah. Well, you know, maybe one day, but no time soon. OK, towards, like, the end of the year. I'm trying to put dates on it. No. <laughs> Well, the end of the year is perfectly fine. No promises. Gotta watch you now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, girls. Hi. Welcome to Bath. Can I help y'all find anything? We're looking for a bathing suit. Perfect. You've come to the right spot. If we're gonna party on a lake, we obviously need new bikinis. <laughs> oh, can I help you grab that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, awesome. And this is an extra small. Does that work? 
Uh, <laughs> I think it is small. I'm like, we're all extra small, but her butt's like not extra small. <laughs> my butt's not extra small. I may look small, but my type of dwarfism, achondroplasia, is known to have some junk in the trunk, which makes bikini shopping tough because the tops and the bottoms are never the same size. The boat should be fun. No, I have to work though. It's like, it sucks. I mean, if Ty wasn't my manager, it'd be a different story. <laughs> but it's like, we live together, you know, we're married. It's like, I can't exactly lie to him. I can't be like, I'm sick. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> it's tough when your husband is also your manager because when you're with him 24 seven, it's impossible to play hooky. Look cute, but your nipples are showing. <laughs> Ooh, the blue looks really good on you. All right, next. Ooh, those are really cheeky. Being a little person, shopping for clothes isn't really that fun, especially because you can never find anything that fits. But this is actually kind of fun, and I think all my hard work in the gym is finally paying off. <sighs> So something's been bothering me with the whole Austin telling us all that he has an arrest record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the whole dynamic between him and Tiffany, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. Like I'm just worried for her since he's like such a bigger person. It's like, is he like violent? Like, is he aggressive? It seems suspicious to me because like, why would your mom just call the cops if you're just yelling at your sister? And we don't really know him yet. So like, we don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Knowing that Austin has a record for domestic violence is really troubling. We've seen how controlling he can be with Tiffany, and I just don't want to see him getting physical with her. He is so much bigger than she is. I'm just worried. I just want to make sure that at the end of the day, our friend's safe. Like, I mean, I know they've been together for a while, but it's like, you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Hard. Oh. I'm comfortable. <laughs> See that? Get your butt in here. Surprised you're not on your phone. Mm hmm? Well, I was. I was like Facebooking. Ugh. Ty's been having me work a bunch of shifts at the bar, which I don't love, especially if it means I miss out on fun things with the girls. How is everything? Mm, just tired, you know. Of what? I'm like tired of bartending. It's like so annoying. Why? And I keep missing out on stuff, like the lake tomorrow. I don't know how I feel about the bar that we want to open up. Why? Like, I know you really, really, with it. it's like, it's like frustrating, like. I know Ty's trying to figure out a way to provide for our future, but he needs to realize we may have different dreams. What would you rather do? I'd rather just focus on my art. Like, yeah. honestly, like, I like the bar and all, but it's like my main goal here is to paint. I know the bar is like our dream, like your dream especially, yeah. but it's like, I'm scared that we're not gonna have enough time set aside for my art and like what I really, really wanna do. I wanna set you up for success so you're able to do your art full time. So you don't have to be at the bar slaving away. You, I know you don't like doing it. Yeah. I have a good feeling about this and I know it's scary. You have to be willing to take that plunge if you don't, You'd be stuck forever. Like, what's life without risk? I'm not sure what either of us will wind up doing, but one thing I know for sure is I have a very supportive husband and I know everything will be okay. But I still wish I was going to the lake tomorrow. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's get some sleep. I gotta work. Night. Hopefully it stays nice today. Hopefully. Are you going to get in the water? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do backflips off the top. I don't think that's safe. I am so excited that my brother Justin is here. It's been a while since I've seen him. It'll be nice to catch up and have some Texas-style fun. You got a keg? Yeah. Do you know how to tap it? No, I don't. That's what you're here for. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was all over you. <laughs> oh. How's it been going? It's all right. I mean, me and Wood had a disagreement with um, another baby. Another baby? Yeah. He doesn't want to? He does, but he don't want to right now. 
He wants uh, to wait till like four to five years, and I'm like. That's too old. That's too far apart. He's older than me, so he's just gonna get older. <laughs> Mink's gonna get older, but I want all of them close, just like us. Like we're 21 months right. apart, and look how close we are. Yeah. But he he wants to make sure like he's stable and good. Yeah. Justin and I are less than two years apart, and we're super close. That's how I've always wanted my kids to be. I'm glad the girls were able to make it out today. How's it going, man? It's time to have some fun. What's up? Hey! Hi! Even though Tiffany and I have been fighting over the last few days, I'm so over that drama. Today's all about fun, so I want to have a good time. This is my brother, Justin. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you, you Tiffany. What's up, boss? How you doing? Plus, Justin's here. Justin and I have been texting a lot lately, and I'm happy that we finally get to hang out. Last time I saw Justin, he was just a kid. And now, he's a man. He looks good. You can totally tell he's flirting with me. He's single, I'm single, so why don't you just live it up? This is what Texas is all about, huh? I'm loving it here so far. Good. Yeah, I was thinking, I want to stay here permanently with you. Really? That's OK. Well, yeah. Yeah, would you like that? Well, yeah. This is the best news ever that Austin's wanting to live out here with me. I've missed him so much. But what about Kaylee? She's going to have to go because three adults in one home. Yeah, it's a little too much. Yeah. And I came here to be with you, not her. It's gonna be tough telling Kaylee she's gonna have to move out. I don't know how she's gonna take it, but I hope she understands. So we're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna have to tell her at some point tonight. Okay, that works for me. All right. Let's get upstairs. I'm so, I'm so excited though. Good, I, I would hope so. So now we can go to the lake house and have a barbecue. All right, Captain, take us home. I need a plate. Thank you. We're having a blast at Bree's aunt's lake house, but all I can think about is telling Kaylee she has to move out. I just want to get it over with. Okay. All right. Can we talk? I guess I'm okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Things have been tense between Kaylee and I since Austin arrived, but hopefully she understands that this space will do us good in the long run. You know, obviously, you know, we've been living together. Now, I've kind of mentioned it to you that he, he might stay, and he is going to stay. That's what I decided. So, you know, it is time for you to move out. I just no. don't understand. I, what, I know what don't you, you understand? Don't. It is my house. Well, technically, it's our house. It's my house. It's in my name. You, you, give, you give me rent, yes. But it's, it's, in my, it's in my name. I was having a really good time living with Tiffany, and I can't believe she'd kick her friend out over a guy. That really hurts. I mean, we came out here together. No. Yeah, She's my Kaylee. best friend. And yeah. I, hold on, let me talk. So okay, we came out here listen. as friends, best friends, actually, I should say, and we've been living here, no problems. And then Austin comes, and now it's like. Yeah, but Austin and I has also lived together before I even moved here with you. And we're also so in a pretty committed have, relationship. You guys living together before 
we moved out here. What does that have to do with anything? Like, uh, why is that a bad thing? We're used to we're used to the to space away from where, everybody. Yeah, we're used, we're used to, to having coming home, home with down, each other. Why do you come down coming home to each other every damn and night? Having bed, our time and being up. able okay, to do what we want. But why would you come down here with someone? He didn't move out here. So where were you when you when she moved out working. here with me? Working. 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 Okay, I was Making working. money to support us. Working. I work too. So why does the f does that matter? It's hard. hard. When you're it ain't hard. When you're in a long-term relationship, it you make hard. your f work even if you're it's one mile away from work. me or a thousand miles away from you. And now that I have the opportunity to move out here, he's going to move out here. So why the f you pitch it? How would you feel? You put yourself in the position. How would you feel? You put yourself in the position. How would you feel? So why the f are you bitching? How would you feel? You put yourself How in the position. How would you feel? You put yourself. How would you feel? Oh Answer that. Hey, How would you feel if your best friend sat down with you oh because that boyfriend came into town? I would get the f out why? because I wouldn't care. Yeah, because no, if they were dating for three years, you would f understand. Whatever. I was having a really good time at the lake, hanging out with Justin and my friends, and Tiffany decided to pull me aside and tell me that she's kicking me out because Austin's here to stay. You know what, Tiff? Way to ruin the party, way to ruin my day, and way to ruin the whole year for me. We're just being honest with you. We're telling you how we feel and what is going to be happening. That's, yes, that's all. Final. That's straight yes. and simple, to the point. And I wanted to be a very mature friend. No of disrespect. Yeah, it's no not, disrespect. It's not, you haven't done anything to You've us. You've never done that. And it's I don't not want like you we're mad that. at you. It's and not I like we're not going to be friends with you. And I know you will talk behind my back, but this is why I pulled you out here by yourself and not in front of everybody else. Well, everyone's gonna know once I go inside. Okay, but listen, am I, no, am I the bigger person pulling you aside and talking to you face to face instead of we having went home, No, it is. Sat down, talked oh about nine, pull me outside at a damn party while we're all having a good time. And now, you oh know, that was just all be It had to happen sooner or later, and you know what? It's happening now. So you either deal with it. Well, you're gonna or... stay on your side, and I'm gonna stay on my side. Until you and maybe I won't talk to you for a while, because that's what's best. Because okay. I just think this is rude. I feel like I just lost my best friend. Not that I can't be happy for her and Austin, but the way that she handled it was very immature. She could have let me know behind closed doors, not at the lake party. We won't realize how friend you are. Hi. <laughs> Friend, trust me, everybody else know. knows how being in a relationship is. Kaylee, of course, is being a big drama queen and trying to make me look bad in front of everybody. It may sound harsh, but it is my house, and if I say she goes, she goes. Whoa. Hola. <laughs> hey, guys, what so happened? So what was hey, that about? Up? It's kind of hostile out there. Where are you going? What was that about? I Hola. asked her to move out. Hey, wait up. What are you doing? I don't know, just, I'm sure you heard. You heard a little bit. Yeah. I can't believe someone who I haven't seen in years is being nicer to me than my own best friend. I don't know, now that her boyfriend's here, she kicked me out. She's not even being a best friend. We came here together, not him. He didn't come here. He let her leave. And now that he's here and he decided he wants to stay, he could stay and I have to go. You kicked her out. Yeah. yeah. Why did you, you kick her out? out? Because it wasn't. It wasn't her. It wasn't even like that. It's, she's it's just, taking she it. Understand. it on a super personal yeah. level right now. But isn't well, she your friend? Yes, you're right. But she's in my house. And three people in one house. That's a lot of. Yeah. Why couldn't you but guys you taking here. care of that? When you were at no, home instead of when we were trying to have a good time. Now, and we've so both... you can't just kick a person out. You were here. You weren't prepared to move I'm here. I'm not the one kicking her out. She uh, yeah, is. he's not the one. I am. It's her why house. It's you, her decision. Because it's my yeah, like he just said, it's my decision. Why are you why are you coming at me? I'm sure if your man was here, that ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm asking you about no, your that's man. Not, and I'm answering you that. Why would you because kick her out? Because she needs to have her own man. She's not even sure that he wants to be here. Oh, he will. And couldn't come. Now he wants to be here. I don't give that a we've been here to together for three years. I don't have no doubt Girl, about okay, it. You, you can hate all you want. I don't really care. All of you hate. Hey, I don't give a Don't bring me into it. it. For the record, I do not care who lives with who. What I do care about is these girls are ruining Bree's Lake Party and my day. At the end of the day, it ain't your relationship. It's mine. Rochelle has no business butting in. This is between Kaylee and I. Like, this bitch doesn't Stop. Who are you talking like about? Like, it ain't your business. Who are you talking what about? Do you care? 
Dumbass. You want After blue eyes, bitch? After age. You want blue like, eyes, bitch? Damn. Mind your own business. Why you choose to kick her out of Why the do you care in your business? That ain't make no more sense. All right, listen, shut the up. Come on. Yeah, get your ass out. It's time to go. Come on, let's go. Ooh, you want to kick up? Yeah, bye. Bye, 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 bitch. This is what Asta, Amanda, and I were afraid of. Austin is clearly controlling Tiffany. Next time on Little Women Dallas. Where is it? Ah! At this point, it's team <laughs> Tiffany. Whatever, dude. <laughs> but it is. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my best friend over a guy. We already made the move here. I can't sit around here and be successful. In my opinion, you're more successful in Atlanta. And Emily, I don't think she would put her life on hold for you. Run! Oh, Run. I'm your best friend! What Run. the f Ooh, Asta, you OK? Wait, wait. Water. Ooh. Yeah, you cannot do this again. I don't want anything you know bad to happen to her. Who are you planning to have at the tree planting? Like, I'm going to tell Lonto what we're doing, and if he decides to come, he comes. I hope he shows up, but he deals with it differently. Mommy, Ava, Bree, and Malik are planting this tree as a symbol of our love.